you have to make a brand to make people want to watch you and how you do that i don't know but the most important thing you have to show off your personality to build a brand on social media today is very important to have a good social media all right guys i know i'm a little bit late to the party but i have other stuff going on i have another job that i have to do and this is the earliest i could get this video out but i wanted to make this video today because and i hope i get his name right Renato Moichiano. Renato Moichiano. Money Moichiano. I think that Money Moichiano is going to be the next big superstar in the UFC lightweight division. When I say next big superstar, I'm not necessarily talking Conor McGregor style superstar where he's just going to take over the sport. But I think this guy is going to be one of the biggest draws in the division. And there's a few reasons for that. One is it's a very aging division. You've got guys that just seem to be wanting to fight each other like Dustin Poirier, Justin Gaethje, Islam Makachev. We just saw Tony Ferguson have one of the biggest uh, slides in UFC history. And I think this division, which is probably one of the most prestigious divisions in UFC history, is on a little bit of a downslide as far as having new talent. And although Moisiano has been in the UFC for quite a while and he's not young, he's 33, he just understands the promotional side of the game. And I'm not even talking about his fighting record, even though his record's not too bad. He's had five losses in the UFC. If you have a look at his losses, it's against Brian Ortega, fought for a title against Volk and was honestly very close to beating Volkanovski. You've got Jose Aldo, who was probably the best featherweight of all time before Volk came along. Korean Zombie, Rafael Fazeev and RDA. That's his five losses, which is a pretty good record. This guy is just extremely savvy on social media, despite English not even being his first language. Okay, so in case you missed it, which I doubt you did, but Money Moichiano gave probably the best post-fight speech I've ever seen. After defeating Drew Dober by unanimous decision, now given it wasn't the best fight ever, it was a tad boring because of a lot of grappling, but he did exactly what he had to do to win. And that post-fight speech, just two days after, had already a quarter of a million views on YouTube. Honestly, I wish I could just play the whole speech to you guys now, but obviously I can't if I want to keep my channel monetized. But basically, he referenced his dad recently having a newborn baby at age 62, which is just fucking awesome. And he said he's going to go home and do the same with his wife tomorrow. He's going to make a new baby. Cool. He then said when he gets his green card in a couple of years. So I'm assuming he's in like the process of going through getting a green card. He lives and trains in Florida. So he's going to end up as a US uh, resident or citizen. And he said when he does, he wants to become a police officer and join the SWAT team because he can see that the USA is turning into a third world country. And honestly, growing up in Brazil, like he's probably a very good judge of that. He can see how America is on the downslide as far as like crime and things like that. And sometimes I feel um, many, many Americans, they, they are losing the faith in the system. They are losing the faith in institution. And he wants to do something about it. And he even said he basically wants people to keep repopulating the planet and going to church and just being good people. And he doesn't want to see America fall into this shithole country. We are in a, in a situation right now that people are losing the faith in the economic system and everything. So I, I think we had to find a way to make the things better for America, the separation between church and state and politics. The guy's basically a Brazilian Sean Strickland or Colby Covington. He's completely based. I think his views align with a lot of UFC fans' views, and I think it's just awesome what he's doing. And it's not just because of his views that I'm saying that this guy's great. This guy puts in so much effort on his social media, on his Instagram, and on his YouTube, and especially his post-fight speeches. Like, this isn't the first time. He actually made Daniel Cormier start laughing hilariously, and he let the interview go on way longer than what they usually would because he knew it was just pure gold but what was probably most impressive about the whole post-fight uh, interview was him calling out the MMA guru and 
it had a lot of people online thinking that this was some real beef because the MMA guru picked Drew Dober in the fight. If you went and watched Guru's reaction to that, you would have seen that um, that wasn't the case at all. Like these guys actually go back and forth and they're somewhat friends. And MMA Guru texted him to tell him, hey, I'm picking Drew Dober, I'm sorry, like I'm a fan of yours, blah, blah, blah. But the reason he called out MMA Guru is because he knows what's up. This guy's smart. He knows that the MMA Guru has one of the biggest MMA media channels in the world and a lot of diehard MMA fans watch MMA Guru shit. He even went live on his YouTube channel as he's getting into the ambulance, getting taken to hospital, and he's still calling out MMA Guru and just talking absolute shit for like 10 minutes while he's in the hospital, his face is all busted up and he's on a live stream. Hey, MMA Guru put some... Is that the one that really passed? MMA Guru had the, 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 the fucking disrespect to, to message me saying that I'm gonna lose to Dio Dobe, not the respect to Dio Dobe, but MMA Guru. Show some fucking respect, man. Are you crazy? And if you think like, okay, who cares? Like this guy did a speech and he has a YouTube channel and an Instagram channel. Have a look at what happened to his YouTube channel right after this speech. He gained 10,000 subscribers in a couple of days. Like this guy's channel is going to the moon. He's very consistent and all he does is sits down and he's completely honest about what it's like being a UFC fighter. And I think it's refreshing. He's also pretty funny too. He posted this hilarious meme of, I think it's him as an old man next to Ian Gary's wife and child. Like he's just, so then after a couple of days after the fight, he tells Paddy Pimblett that he should go and fight Drew Dober next. Um, I'm not sure why he did that. I'm guessing it's because he knows Drew Dober's a tough fight. I want to see a guy like Paddy Pimblett. Let's see what Drew Dober does to Paddy Pimblett. And, and, and I can tell you, it's not gonna be pretty. Paddy Pimblett will be in trouble. So I hope they give Paddy Pimblett uh, do do it. but guess what UFC not gonna do that sometime UFC will have to stop protecting Paddy Pimblet and we will see what he's made of okay Drew is like one of the hardest hitters in the division apparently he walks around at like 190 pounds but Paddy Pimblet responded and actually said he wanted to fight him so if Paddy Pimblet ends up fighting I think that's going to do massive numbers and it's going to be huge for Moichiano's career Paddy Pimblett has a massive following already. He's been playing this game for a while on YouTube and Instagram. And the two actually match up pretty well together because they're both grapplers. So I think it'd actually make a pretty decent fight too. I don't know, there's definitely something there with these two fighting. I think, I think the UFC should be clamoring to make that fight. This is a really good example to other UFC fighters and MMA media who talk so much about fighter pay in the UFC and how they're underpaid. Dana White has always said like, you have an opportunity when you're in the UFC. And I think what he means by that is like, when you're under the UFC banner, there's only what, 600 UFC fighters in the world. You use that platform to your advantage, however you wish. It's not rocket science, start a bloody YouTube channel. Who doesn't want to see behind the scenes of what it's like being a UFC fighter? There's millions of diehard UFC fans in the world and there's only 600 fighters on the roster. It's not rocket science, guys. And I understand like training to be a UFC fighter must take a hell of a lot of commitment. Like I'm talking like training three times a day, everything you got to do for your body, your nutrition, but every single content creator out there had to start while also doing a full-time job. Like most of it is just him sitting there talking to the camera like I am. It's not really that difficult. Sometimes he puts out a three or four minute video, but it's really good like behind the scenes sort of shit. A good example is Sean O'Malley, who he started doing YouTube and Twitch and Instagram very early in his career. So by the time he got to like being in the top five, top 10, he already had this huge following and that's how you negotiate a big contract with the UFC, but also he was making great money. And just by having a look at this guy's social media page and his link tree, like he's got, he's built himself as a brand. He's got like a merch line. He's got all different sponsors. He's got a huge following on Instagram. He's starting to get a big following on YouTube. He's got uh, Twitter. This guy gets it. I think a lot of fighters, they have this belief that they deserve to get paid well just because they fight well, which 
ethically, I understand that and I agree, you should get paid well for how you fight. But the more you can promote yourself outside of the cage, the more you're gonna be able to get and negotiate. And besides all that, you can make money without fighting. You can make money off of YouTube. I guarantee you right now, this dude is making money off of his YouTube channel. So he doesn't need to be taking fights all the time. I don't know, I think a lot of real MMA fans were already big fans of this guy, but that speech just seems to have sent him into another stratosphere and I think he's gonna keep going up. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be doing a collaboration with uh, the MMA guru on his channel pretty soon. That's just gonna make it go even bigger. This guy just, he gets it. And if there's any other MMA fighters out there watching this guy, just watch and learn because you don't even have to be in the UFC. Even if you're just an MMA fighter in another organization, like there are other ways to make money and income streams and he is giving you the blueprint. You have to make a brand, to make people want to watch you and how you do that, I don't know. But the most important thing you have to show off your personality, to build a brand on social media. Today is very important to have a good social media. I mean, if he cracks into the top 10 and keeps going the way he's going, which it looks like he will, this guy's gonna start making some serious money. But that's just what I think. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And as always, if you enjoy this, please remember to like and subscribe. We're nearly hitting 2000 subscribers. I've only put out about 20 videos. Let's try and get to that 2000 number and we'll keep climbing from there. Thanks guys.